Well, hi guys, Emma again. Wednesday night, home from work. Uh, welcome back to my workbench again. And the amazing clutter that is works in progress. Now, we've got this little tank, and I've given this a good clean up and cleaned all the, the marking out dye off it. With a bit of meso or denatured alcohol or whatever you Americans call it. We call it methylated spirits, which is purple in colour sometimes. It's pretty much alcohol with something in it to make you throw up, I think. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure, but I think that's what it is. So I've given this a good clean up and a scrub up with some fine abrasive paper around where we want to, where we want to solder it. And that should just slide together nicely like that. And you've got a nice fit around here. And a nice fit around the ends. It'll take a bit of time to get these looking like they're going to fit nice and tight it's well worth taking the time to get everything fit and nice same with any of these sort of jobs now because this is copper and it's fairly thin I'm only going to soft solder it I'm only going to use matte gas which is this stuff propane and first we need to flux it up there's a few ways you can do that I've got some baker soldering fluid here and that's probably a nice clean copper is probably as good as anything we put a bit of that in a dish. You don't want to be putting your brush in a bottle of killed spirits. It's um, really probably not much good for it. What this is basically, I believe, is, and we used to call it killed spirits. It's a sulfuric acid with some solder or some lead solder dissolved in it to basically bring it down so it's not corrosive so or not as corrosive so it's good to have a bottle of that if you're doing a lot of lead soldering and that's what we're going to use someone's going to pull me up on this but I've got this in a tin um, not quite so good you really want a plastic container for for anything that's corrosive we're just going to do one end at a time I got a little brush so we're going to give this a good Good wipe around there, like that. Make sure it flows down between the joints nicely. And I went and got a little roll of soft solder because I never had any. This is lead free, so I don't know what's in it, but it's it's pretty soft stuff, so it should be fairly low melting point. And that'll run around there beautifully. With any luck. A nice soft bushy flame. Just let that wick in there nicely. And it'll take very, very little solder to run in there. When it's up to heat, it'll just run in there beautifully and give you a nice, smooth, shiny seam. That's what we're looking for. We'll do the other one. You don't want it too hot or it's going to buckle up. Bear in mind, this tank's going to be fairly warm now. Now I've got a pair of pliers ready to turn it over. Just up on one end like that. So you don't want too much solder on there, just enough to run round. So there's one end done. If you get this too hot, you've got to buckle it. Then it's going to look ugly. This doesn't want to stick out any further than the edges here. It won't go up the, the piece of channel that sits in on the engine. So, here's me trying very carefully not to melt the camera and it's just going to run around there like water So I've given this a bit of a clean up, it's all soldered nicely. This is citric acid. You buy it at the homebrew guys or just at the supermarket in small quantities. And ordinary cold water, I'm just pickling in that, which has brought it up nice and shiny. Now that's got a pretty good seam around there. That end's a bit rough because it, it got a bit hot and the, the solder run down that end. But this one's nice. That's how it should be. Nice seam around there with a the groove. And I think that's pretty watertight. 
so that's the tank finished and the soldering job done. It's... Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, more soon.